Ladies and gentlemen, we are live for another episode of the One and Only Show with your host, JP Motherfucking Ringo. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the chains, the glass, the hat. What's going on? It's your main man, JP Motherfucking Fingers. That's me. All right, let's get things rocking. Shout out to Sir Louis Cigar, the big dog. Ho, ho, ho. At Sir Louis Cigars. What else? Look at this beard coming back. I think I'm going to grow it for the winter. Festive, seasonal. At Beard of Buffalo Oils. Hit him up on Instagram. What else? Woo, 69 boys call me. Humus Smart. Hit him up. Humusmart.com. Find him on Amazon. Find him everywhere. To carry your cigars. To carry your life. At all of these fine establishments. Use promo code Rebar. Get like me, get like us. Fucking take care of yourself, take care of your cigars, take care of your fucking face. Ladies and gentlemen, JP Fingers, the one and only Herf Daddy, Herf Head, Herf Head, Herf Dashian, Herfeed, Herfetus. Herf Dashian. Herf Dashian. Herf Cuck. I mean, really? Herf Cuck 5000. Anything on the first half of your fucking nickname. It's true. There you go. All right, Herf Head, take the fucking mic. Mic check one, two. All right, mic check, one, two, mic check. Listen, the one and only Rebar show might say and do some dumb shit. And if we offend you, I don't give a fuck. Um, go, go check out fucking some dog walkers and maybe reflect on your life. Reflect on yourself. Boom. Just, reflect, just fucking reflect. Reflect on yourself taking a piss in a puddle where you can see your reflection. Ah, fucking reflect on that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a three-time champion of the show, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Drew. Oh, thank, thank you, everyone. You, Jonathan. Oh, my bad. I want my you bad, to my enjoy bad. my Liga Pravada this weekend. <laughs> thank you. Excellent. The rebirth of the nutsack. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just pulling a fucking trick on you guys. I didn't want to fool people. Oh. We all know right here, a.k.a. he's a fucking three-time author. He's got clothing company. He's got fucking jewelry. He's got liquor. He's got cigars. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. my fucking baddie daddy, a.k.a. Matt Booth. Good evening, Juice Good Bar. Evening. How are you? I see we have a uh, illustrator slash book writer, Mr. Mm. Matthew Booth. Herfed, how are you? Oh, thank you for asking, Mr. Matthew. Um, I am well. I am well. I am uh, oh, fuck. currently enjoying my 75-degree uh, weather in New York. When it's air, it may be 20 degrees. We got to touch on this, too. Myself in Canada is actually having a, I'm having a sobriety on the colder weather. I'm very sober with the cold weather here. Well, that'll never do. Well, I fall off the wagon usually in November. <laughs> November, we can Didn't get Did you just snow. shotgun a beer? Yes and no. I shotgunned a Twisted Tea. I'm in my 20s. Oh. St I still do that. It, a, beer, a beer is a cuck to me. I can drink a beer. I can drink a tea. I can shotgun a beer. I can shotgun a tea. That shit, that's cuck. That's cuck to me. So, by the uh, way, talking about your age, uh, again, happy 21st birthday to JP last month. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Man. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. guys. Became oh, yeah. a man. September is a big month for me. You know, my age. I'm finally, I'm legal in the United States now. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I am legal if you want to hit me up on my OnlyFans, <laughs> my Patreon. Buy me a coffee, coffee for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Buy him a coffee. Get your boy a coffee. And I'm not talking about Tim Hortons or Duncan or Starbucks. Nope. Sorry, Starbucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> fuck. All right. Can we talk about your uh, you know, next book you're going to publish? <sighs> Matt Booth? Please do. All right. Well, go ahead. What are you going to – what's the title of this novel? Novel? Oh, it's not a novel. Oh, yeah, I don't I want to call it an easy read either. It's like an encyclopedia. 
Well, it's not going to be an easy read because there's going to be a lot of uh, work centric shit in there. And, you know, Alan Rubin told me I should tell my story. He said, I'm at a point. Alex Bradley, whole... Alan Rubin? Yeah. Or Alan yeah, Rubin. No, the from, other uh, what's that? Uh... Yeah. That no, or I was not... thinking of uh, America's Next Singer or whatever it's called. Yes, that one. He did. He told me. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Okay. So I figured I'd just start telling my story. It's one of uh, episodical adventures. Okay. And such. Am I anywhere I in these memoirs? Of course you are, man. Okay. Of course. Yeah. You have to be. You're part of my story, man. And I now part of yours. Have I, you had any other guests on here three times? Are you a three timer charmer? Actually, I want to say honestly, truthfully, between me and you, I think it's your fourth time. I think it is too. Yeah. Honestly. I think one of I but I think one of those would be a lost episode. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking a million percent. <laughs> <laughs> We've probably actually tried to do fucking eight episodes, but four of them have been lost episodes. <laughs> It's all go. It's all good though, man. It's all good. I've you missed a working title. I've missed. Oh yeah, it's uh, ten thousand leagues under my nutsack. Ah, oh, well, that's yeah. really. It's a kind of a nautical tale, you know. Seamen voyage. About the seamen is in there. There's lots of seamen. There are several seafaring gentlemen <laughs> in the story. You know, they were swimmers. Oh, I just farted. Mark Phelps does a cameo. It's just a, all he does is he shows up and does a bong rip and then he bounces. Wearing his swimwear, though. Already it sounds better than remember when he had his reality show? No, I don't. But that's Holy amazing. Fuck. I'm, I'm almost like uh, the only thing that, it, that could excite me more is, and this is amazing. Uh, you know, it's amazing to discover something like that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm you know elated on a similar level to when I discovered that Steven Seagal for a brief moment had an energy drink, you know? Um, I didn't know that. Phenomenal. Yeah. You should go it, bro. I'm going to have to change would, some of the would, titles under the genre of this show. It's a fucking learning channel now. Yeah. Steven Seagal had his own energy drink. It's called like something lightning or something like that. It's got a picture of him on the can <laughs> on, I mean, it's amazing. That's like collectible we, shit. Like that's is, worth money now. I mean, nobody nobody has it anymore. I would have bought the shit out. I would have, I would have invested in cases of that. That's wild. You should have. You should put your hair back right now, like Steven Seagal. So like, it looks like your hair's not long until you do a sidekick, and then we can see your fucking massive ponytail. He was always a ponytail guy, but like slicked back. It's just wild. Yeah. yeah. Like let it's that shit fly look. while you're spinning and kicking and punching it's, and shit. Business in the front, party in the back. I mean, it's standard, right? That's your classic 311. It's a 311. You know what I mean? Kentucky waterfall. Yeah, I mean, as you as you wish. As you wish. God so you so it. juice bar, you, you guys have a some sort of like cigar related show you do. Is that what you do? <laughs> it can't be this one. <laughs> All right, you, we do. All right, you, you know, sometimes you know talk about cigars and don't interrupt me when I'm talking. The lifstyle which surrounds don't him. I'm don't sorry. Fucking interrupt Perfect. Him. Don't 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 interrupt him. Perfect. I thought it was coming from I just, him. So I just oh. wanted to. I just wanted to. Oh, oh. No, no, no. When did you I'm get finished. a stutter? When did you finish develop a stutter, Herfed? Finish your thought. I'm nervous. Herf I'm God. fucking nervous. I'm, I'm fucking nervous, man. It's like, fucking honestly, raging erection I, I don't get it. I'm a little nervous. Need some release. This is Herfed and mine's most soberest moment talking with you. Strange. I haven't. I haven't had brown bread in years. Strange days. It's brown bread. Strange is really days. fucking weird. Like it, you want to like it, but I mean, are you talking about actual wheat bread? Or are you talking about white bread colored brown? That fucking no, whole, no, that no, whole no, whole grain no, shit. That B and M. No, I'm talking about that bowel movement shit. That bread in a can. You know, we've all had it. I've bread never heard it called can. bread in the can. Where it just feels bread. fibrous ripping through you. It's good. Uh, I mean, look, man, functionality is part of uh, self care. Re yeah. Regular. Yeah. You yeah. got to keep yourself regular sugar. Yeah. Oh. Cigar right. bread. 
<laughs> cigar man. But all right, we'll touch on something about Herfit. If you were to have a book, what would it be called? A novel, maybe a map. You could create a map of the world. What would you call it? What would you call your creation of uh, reading material? I think I would call it if you could turn back time. Hmm. That's good. Right. And then in that. parentheses, you couldn't find a way. Yeah. Parentheses. I'd pick that up in the airport bookstore. You know? 100% neck nice pillow. That, cover that, with dust jacket. Neck pillow that. You know? Next time you're in Nashville, check it out. It's in the works. Mine, what would mine be called? Um, just Life and Times of the Rebar featuring yeah. everybody. Suck and cock for quarters. That. Juice bar. Yeah. I changed that. I... <laughs> no? I would probably have to say, uh, the fuck can't my earbuds fit in my ear? Just a big question mark. <laughs> I like that. Be like a, that, that could be very pages. sexual, too. I feel like that could be a very sexual and like metaphorical book. You know, People are going to read this. You're going to have middle-aged wives reading this being like, why can't my oh. earbuds fit in my ear? How housewives are gonna love it? I'll give tips: a little petroleum jelly, maybe a little fucking strawberry jam. Move those ears up. Jam or jelly. All right. Where you living? So I would actually have a book also called as well Petro, and people could think it could be about gas, it could be about petroleum jelly, it could be about just fucking petroleum as a fucking fuel source. Go many you fuel ways. me, juice bar. Fu you fuel exactly, me. fuel me. Yeah, you fuel me. You fuel me. Fuel me. You fuel me. You fuel me. You fuel me. Fuel yeah, me. you fuel me. All right, mm -hmm. what are we smoking? What are we drinking? Let's go with Herfed. Then we're going to go with our French guest called Guest. And then we're going to go with myself. Guest. Yes. All right, Herfed, what are you smoking? I'm... What are you drinking? Boy. Boy. You know, you know what I'm drinking. Hi. And what flavor, I'm... though? Are you get all... What flavor? Are you get all the same. Coding. Uh, coding, coding, and so zero, uh, that's a pineapple. pineapple. It's a poorly drawn pineapple. <laughs> you know, if you turn that upside down, I think you're a fucking swinger. If you think so, you, so, you know what's, um, so you know what's crazy? Every other pineapple seltzer fucking sucks dick. It's fucking horrible. It's like a mango in any other seltzer drink. Yeah, I guess it's the weakest out of all of them, but we take and we can get. You know, and uh, I'm going to smoke one of my favorite cigars out of the uh, LCA drop. Mm. Mm. See, just a little we'll sting get, in your I, mouth. I got to give, I got to, Boof, Herf, you got to remind me to get back to this subject on what we're smoking, what we're drinking after we tell what we're smoking, what we're drinking. Uh, Mr. Booth, what are you smoking? What are you drinking? I'm smoking Farce Maduro, Papi Chulo, trademark. And I ain't drinking LLC. shit. LLC. Not even going straight from water. dry mouth. You're not even no, having... Yeah, like, I, I I'm letting my water, mouth... Man. You're a cuck to that cigar. I got dry pipe, you know? <laughs> dry pipe. Fuck, it's just like this, and it's just dust. Like somebody mm -hmm. dropped a thing of baby powder open on the floor, and it was open. It's true. You ever notice how dry your mouth gets? It, and you can actually start tasting and smelling the ass smell of it. Mm -hmm. Like it smells mm -hmm. fucked up. Like it does smell fucked up. I it's think like the ass smell goes away when you're done eating it. Like after a couple of days, it just dissipates. Sometimes you leave some up under your nose, though, maybe close to your eye and you get pink eye. I don't know. Herf was yeah. talking about yeah. eating ass earlier. Is, mm. is pink eye contagious? Uh, it yeah, can very. be. It it's not like chicken yeah. pox where you only get it I, I'd once. Say, I'd it say. Depends uh, what pink, it depends what pink eye we're talking about. Mm, 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 I had pink mm. eye when I was in like grade six. They call I, wasn't eating, the I wasn't eating any ass. So explain that. Pink eye is like one of the wonders of the world. It's like Niagara Falls or that fucking weird fucking thing out in Virginia, that fucking natural stone Brit. You know what I mean? Like pink eye. Like my parents were accusing me of eating ass. Or was it my parents farting on my pillows? I don't know. <laughs> right now I'm questioning it. I'm like, wait a minute. You could I a little feces in your eye? Who I mean, later in life, pillow, though? pink eye comes quickly, uh, you know, after a hotel session, especially if, you know, you're following the uh, 
you know, wiping the dick on the pillow protocol. Uh, that, that you know what? I think typically exists in that type of environment. We always did these summer vacations when I was younger. And mm-hmm. I, there's a good chance I could have got this in fucking Nova Scotia, where mm-hmm. uh, Paul Stulak's from. A lot of shit goes down in Nova Scotia, man. You know, people, people, uh, you know, people don't, people don't talk about it enough. You know, it reminds I, me. Seen... Sorry, Herf, go. I've seen some weird videos, and I saw this video of a dude who just goes to whatever hotel he's at, and he just wipes his dick on the door, puts his dick on the phone. Puts his dick on fucking everything he can put his dick oh, on. Oh, all right. Now we got to shout out my other YouTube channel. Put your dick on it. <laughs> what what I put my dick on? What what I put my dick yeah. on? Slash OnlyFans. Only in hotels. Only hotels. Only, only hotels. It's like the Wang trap. It's a little trapper. malevolent, you know. I mean, yeah, dude. Um, number one. Number one. I feel in a hotel room. That's all your right to put your dick on whatever you want. Well, I mean, I think that it should be assumed that you're in an environment where a dick has already been on everything in the room. Right? You're like, you're like you go there and you're putting your dick on and you're like, I ain't the first one. Yeah. You know, no, you're probably maybe that's, that's, maybe that's, maybe that's, that's part of the uh, that's part of the fucking high you get. You know, I don't know. Some, it's not me, some, man. I'm just some people like to wipe everything down. Other people just like to put their fucking dick on everything. Like, oh, well, it's sanitized. Wiping, I think now. that's wiping it down too, really. It's sanitized, it. right? Fuck, I mean. All right, what even am I before for? even before COVID, the trick was when you go into a shitty motel room, if you get those uh plastic cups that have the uh condom over them, mm-hmm. you just tear the top of that condom up and then you put it over the uh remote control. That's your remote control condom. No, 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 dude. You carry those to when you go to the bar and you go to like a shitty bar and you put it on there it's just so people can't drop shit in there. You put it over but your you, you have multiple cups. You have you have options and choose you pick and choose your cup. You're you right. Six maybe. You're, yeah. you're, hey, bro, you're right. Anyway, you're right. I cut you off. By my apologies. What are you drinking? What are you smoking? What am I drinking? What am I smoking? Oh, fuck. Yeah, you. I got some, this little Caribbean cask, 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 Glen it. I'm big on it. I drink handle it. On it. No. Jesus. Just, it's the no, size it's just like, of that thing. Oh, it's a 26, box, 26 right? ounces. Yeah. It just comes in a nice box. You know, I like nice stuff. I like to treat myself. Mm-hmm. And uh, I actually have a uh, Rebartini going with it too. Uh, Miller Genuine Ooh, Draft is the uh, the poison in it. And uh... Rebartini. It's got <clears throat> that's got a ring to it. <laughs> that's really good, actually. What do you, you think? I, I am smoking. Oh, you're so which has smoking. a yeah. fucking lustrous ash on it right now. I am smoking. I can't say much about this cigar, but my co-host can. It's a one hab. One hab. I'm smoking one hab right now. Number one, don't talk about it yet. Phenomenal draw. Phenomenal burn. You made it out to me way lighter than what it actually is. Depends on your palate. It's my first cigar since Sunday. No, sorry. Mm-hmm. My first, yeah, my first cigar since Sunday. Chief retro, down. retro, spicy. It's like a late spice to your fucking uh, nose holes. Tardy spice. Fucking phenomenal. Has a tardy spice. I would say like white pepper. I'm glad you enjoy it. You know, oh, I don't eat that much white pepper, oh. but. See this fucking carnage right white here. Pepper and, uh... See this carnage right here. Whew. Jesus, man. Yeah, dude, that was like a fucking clean yourself up. Ash. That was a two and a half inch ash. All right, we're good. All right, we're good. What was uh, what was gonna be our side note? But no, dude, great cigar. Um, can you say where it came from? It came from Texas. Where did it come from? There. Came from a factory in Texas. So it's a Mexican cigar. Well, there's not many factories in Texas, so. So you gotta you gotta sound like a fucking one of these super boutique guys. You be like, it's undisclosed. Oh well, what about where did the lease come from? You're like, it's undisclosed. Like we're talking to a fucking Area 51 guy right now. How many planes land in there a day? Hooked undisclosed. up with my man uh, Noel Rojas. And I've been making the same cigar with him for about four years now. It's like I consider it my personal cigar. 
Oh, yeah. uh, what I really Dude. love about the cigar is that it uses a, the Chilamate Viso in it that really gives it the aroma and gives it the body. Um, it's got a lot of mild spice to it. Like very, like a lot of miles. It almost reminds me of like shit I, I would barbecue with or I would season something. There's no Lee Harrow in the number one. So it's like Lee Harrow, but it's called no Lee Harrow? No, oh, it's not. No. You smoked it too. You see what you think of that one. Dude, it's, it, it's honestly, I don't, I don't like, yeah. Number one, the size is fucking Illmatic. 646. So remember how I told you about the number, that number that will always reappear in your life, her fed? Yeah. That's what I tell you my fucking number was, 646. There you go. Is there a number, Boofy, that keeps reappearing in your life? No. Like a number combination that keeps reappearing? No. There's got to be. No. Bro, there's got to be. I, I don't think. He's don't, lying. So. He's lying. <clears throat> All right, the first time ever, I'm calling our guest a liar. Oh, oh shit. Who's lying? I'm not lying. However, I could be momentarily mistaken. <laughs> Caught up in the moment. Caught up in accusation. the accusation. I mean, this, this moment is uh, the tantric moment. I've missed you. Man. I just felt my body loosen up when you said that. My external body, not nothing internal, but like I just felt like, oh, your, you, some of your internal organs will begin to undulate. I farted. I, I definitely farted. <laughs> From the front of my pants, my tracksuit moved, and it was just like this. It did that. That's exhaust from the pee hole out of your penis. It happens. It's probably like the action of getting wet. You don't mean like the motion of it. So you're so you're saying that a that a, a dick fart is like yeah. it's yeah. partnered uh, uh, unit becoming lubricated. Is that what you're saying? It's, it's just like Herfit can't even take this anymore. He's disgusted by this conversation. You know what? Dick fart. Maybe he. Maybe he's dick farting right now and he just can't talk because he's like, wow. Well, he's trying to push it out. He's trying to see if he can actually make it happen. <sighs> oh, my like, God. Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> that was Herfet's dick oh fart right there. What the fuck is oh he God. doing? I, I, I had a full bladder. I had a full bladder. I truly don't think dicks can fart, though. No, they can. I, I looked it up. I was making a joke about the same subject years ago, and, and then it... <sighs> Piqued my curiosity, so I, I looked it up, and they actually can. Uh, <laughs> you want to know what's really funny? Hmm. So when I wear these glasses that aren't really glasses, they're literally they're hollowed out. Like my fingers are fucking through them. <laughs> when I have an itch by my eye, I pull them up, or I fucking put my finger in behind it. <laughs> because the glass is implied. The, well, that's it, right? I'm just trying to you know maintain my role and just like. What I'm wearing is real. Whew. I am what you would call not a faker. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. I'm not a faker. Sorry. Oh, Herf, move the camera so I can see it in your hand. You guys can hear me? So, no, oh, no, we can't. We can. No. Okay, no. Good. 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 Yeah. yeah. Where'd Herf at go? Privacy. He went hey. to the grocery store. Boofy, I got to ask you. Tell me. What's the weirdest cigar lounge you've ever been to? Weirdest? You don't have to say the actual store, but like, what was that vibe like? What was that atmosphere like? Bottle service. Nice. Any cigar lounge that has bottle service in it is strange to me. Well, I mean, no, it's not the owner because, I mean, bottle it's service is... It's not even is, just uh, that. Like, bro, you're getting bottle service at a cigar lounge. Like, you could get a hand job there. No problem. Oh, I mean, many many hand jobs have been received in cigar lounges, and 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 many lewd acts have been committed in their restrooms. You know, it's I a feel place like of romance. You would pay for a sexual act in a cigar lounge by like, do you want the Corona? Do you want the Robusto? Do you want the Double Robusto? Do you want fucking the Toro? And everything's gauged cigar size wise. 
I mean, if you so choose. This is your oyster bar. Just, I mean, have at it. Bro, I just want to fucking shuck. I'm just looking to fucking shuck. Shuck your oyster. Shuck, shuck, shuck. You know what I mean? Throw down. Throw I'm not, down. I'm not, okay. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, that's fine. What's the weirdest thing you've fucking seen at a cigar lounge? Like, just bizarre. Well, I mean, I worked there for six and plus years, so... Uh, <laughs> six and uh, a bit. I'm not going to say it, but... Uh, Fuck, I just twirled my wrist and fucking fell in the ashtray. Probably the time I walked in that dude who shit his pants, and his yeah. pants were down, dropped trow, and his ass was just smeared and shit. That was probably one of the weirdest things I've seen. I've seen he was in the can guy trying and... to clean himself up but without the door lock. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it was his fault. You know, Amazing. Yeah, he was gone for a good while, and people were angry. It was football Sunday, and couldn't get into the... <laughs> Fuck it, just One a good football got, fucking so, Sunday, you know, eh? When you got to go, you got to go. On. Football Sunday. Pick six. <laughs> and then oh, I had buddy, that's who, it, right? I had a Missed field goal. <laughs> If I can hit the post on the fucking field goal. And then the guy who, started. Yeah, and the guy who pissed on the exit, too. So that the exit door, that was weird. Yeah. Dude, I would have been really weirded out if he pissed, pissed on a, the fucking exit sign. Guy. Imagine about this fucking guy was pissing on the exit sign. That's fucked up. <laughs> I've, I've urinated on a cigar shop or two uh, in my day. I mean, back in the day, I was really off the hook, though, man. It was different. It was a different time than the business. Yeah, you're me. very refined now. You're like a gentleman. I, I have matured. Hey, speaking of the gentlemen. Time you, came in, time you came into Matador and insulted me, which I'll never let down. That's why I never buy any Room 101 hey, products hey. or cigars or endorse this man in whatsoever. But Perfect. Speaking of gentlemen, speaking of gentlemen, Toss you guys got to hit up right now, mygentleman.com. Use promo code Rebar here and get the thinnest wallet you've ever had. It's basically a money clip, but it holds all your stuff. It's convenient. It's good. I use it. Herf Dog uses it. Wiseman uses it. Everybody with the show uses mygentleman.com's wallet. It's the best thing you can ever use. Dude, up mygentleman.com. Forget, forget money clips. Nobody needs money clips anymore. <laughs> no. Nobody, need, this is nobody just... needs money clips. Dude, it's so convenient. We physically can't show it yet on the air, but you have to wait till the drop. It's coming this Tuesday, coming up. And about mygentleman.com. Get your pre order in now. Use promo code REBAR. You're going to save 15% off of it. Plus, you're going to get free shipping if you pick one of the colored ones and you don't go with the gunmetal. Trust me, colored ones are fucking fly. They're fucking hot, man. I got one of them. It's fucking dope. Why not the gunmetal? I mean, gunmetal is just so played out. Like, they came out with they came out with one thing and it was just like, oh, gunmetal is the cheapest. But then the quantity they order, they end up getting them all for the same fucking price. So they sell it at the same price as gunmetal. But I mean, gunmetal is just like gunmetal. I, I don't know. It just screams like gunmetal screams. My wife, like I fucking hate my wallet. I hate my fucking I think, wallet. I think the red was limited to a hundred pieces. I think so. And the camo Ox, was like Ox blood pieces. red. Ox blood the red. Ox blood red was uh, that was rare. That was a hundred pieces. Should, yeah. So yeah. Dude, I mean, they all they all look fucking good. They look, I got a couple. I might give a couple of people. I might give a couple away. I don't know. Mygentleman.com. Hit them up. That's enough with that. The fuck all is right. this show about? We don't know. What is this show about? We don't, we don't know either. It's a good point. What would you like to talk fucking, about, Matthew? I don't want. To, I, I'm, hey, I'm, no. You know what? You know what? Boofy, Boofy, would you roast me? Yes. Fucking roast me right now, then. Right now? Yeah, 100%. Roast me right now. You all know Juice Bar. Wait, do they have CVS in Canada? Because I got to make the... I, I, I got to make the shit hit internationally with you, you know. Although, I, I would assume... A good deal of your followership is from the U.S. of A. Sixty-four hmm? percent last week were from the U.S.A. I mean, Juice Bar's nutsack looks like it was uh, accosted by uh, just for him, just for men, <laughs> men just for him, whatever the fuck that <laughs> is. <laughs> I don't know if that was just a for him. Or not, I mean, <laughs> it is. <laughs> A lot, a lot of dudes want to carry my fucking bowling bag ball holder. 
You got a, a phenomenal takes- sack on you, man. I mean, look at the bag on that guy. Really. I've pulled it out on a show probably mm-hmm. a year ago. The turkey throat? The mm-hmm. turkey the turkey Flying throat. squirrel? The fucking marble holder? The fucking sun-beaten orange? You know, I, I heard... Uh, so I, I, of course, you know, uh, I, I get a lot of my news like everyone else from the appropriate source. Uh, it's called Instagram. You might have heard of it. I thought uh, you were going to say CNN. Post, there's some posts that I've, I've seen recently about rectal tanning. Uh, people yeah. taking pictures of themselves, holding their butthole to the sky, getting sun the on The opposite it. of bleaching. Yeah, tanning. Browning, it's about time really. people started making these things darker. Yeah. No, I, I've, yeah, I've, said, uh, right. I've said... I've uh, said... Uh, I've said anus darkening um, is going to be cutting edge in the next five years. You know. So here's the thing: I'm not looking. You cannot to have. Light I'm not looking to be racist. Darkness. Black sort of hole. darkness without light. But imagine a jet black person with a fucking white ass <laughs> butthole. How weird is that? Because that's not even natural. I feel like if you have a butthole, how you would tan in the summertime normally, and your butthole matches that, like that's fucking that's flow. But you see so somebody. I think that's fuck, ra- they got I, a I jet. Think, they got a jet. I think that's fucking butthole. racist. I think that's racist because I've met a lot of dudes who had white assholes and they were black men. A pink ass. How? And, and, you, have you ever and smoked her head seen a great deal on? of men's? Well, I mean, you worked at a cigar shop for years, so of course you've seen a lot of dude or that dude. kind of stuff. I'm just saying this. Have you ever smoked a cigar in an all white shirt or pants or something all white other than socks and underwear? Dude, you're getting fucking, you're getting stains on that motherfucker. You're, getting, black. you're catching stains. See, you got you show no stains though. I wear black. That's why. Right? But I can spill having an wine all, on myself. Having an well. all jet white butthole, <laughs> bro. You're getting stains on that. Whether you like it or you're getting stain streaks. You know, if you catch one of those days, you're super hungover. You ate a bunch of bad food. You ain't wearing fucking white underwear. You ain't wearing. I mean, you could. <laughs> you could. You're paint. You're a fucking painter. Painter. You're Fortune a artist. Favors the bold. Okay, I, buddy, when I do that, my fucking shit looks like Banksy got a hold of it. Leave butterfly kisses. Yeah, that's it, man. Fucking bang, look at like Granny was at a bingo grabber, a fucking bingo hall. Stamp, 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 stamp. Why all your pants? Why all your underwear's got butterfly kisses on them? My mother's Bro, stuff. those are the ones you don't wear for two days in a row. I don't know. Those are like eighteen-hour pairs. You're like, all right, got a sub now. It's like when they tell you not to eat the whole bag of sugar-free gummy bears because it may cause anal leakage. It's never good. Word? It's true. True. Look it up. It's also a myth. It's also a myth. No, I it think. is not. I Urban think. legend. Wives' tale. Mm-mm. Leakage. No. It was. It's. It. They did the same thing with. Uh, they had. Herb verified this. I don't. I don't know if you guys know Olestra. Remember Olene Olestra? It was a. Uh, a substitute. dancer in St. Louis. For like Viagra? Well, if you're Matt Booth, it's a dancer in St. Louis. It's if you're if you're Herfet, it's uh it's an ingredient they put in uh potato chips and different things mm-hmm. to make it, you know, uh, less fatty. But that also if you read the I really don't know what I don't really don't know what this fatty. is about. What is it about? Your show. It, Can you actually give me the actual definition of a lestra? Nonsensical fuckology. Alestra was a preserve they used, or it was a uh, a salt substitute of some sorts. And so it's like that. It's like that. What's that fucking sugar stuff called? But it's fake sugar. Mm. Sugar. Mm-hmm. I know. Splenda. What did you just say? The N word, her fed. Uh, Splenda. Splenda. That's Sativa. what I was looking for. It was not an N word, like her fed fucking just dropped. I don't know, you got to get your ears checked. I don't know how that healthcare is in Canada, but I don't know either. <laughs> it's all that fucking rectal bleaching. It's fucking up your hearing. Well, what can I say? Everything is connected to the ass nerve. You know that. My fucking butthole is whiter than a stripe on this fucking suit. <laughs> I'm hoping to change that. You crazy? Once he comes in. He's gonna come visit me sometime and fuck. Herfet's in Long Island. They got all these fucking these Italian Herfet fucking dirty butthole tanning sprays. Herfet you can go. You can just go and get your corn shooter. No, you can go to Long Let's Island. You just get your it butthole up. tanned. There's just a butthole tanning kit. 
It no, adjusts to the height. Class. It adjusts to everything. There's, there's a class at the community college that teaches you how to put your fucking earbuds in. Again with that. Only, only the right. I don't know. It's, a, it's an imbalance of some sorts. Hmm. 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 Lost hmm. in the hmm. translation. Indeed. Indeed. So by the time this episode drops, or maybe a, maybe a couple of weeks later on, but what was that shit you just dropped out with the uh, Pravada Cigar Club? Looked like some sexy man in a... Uh, Thunder junk? Hair cutter, colored body. Yeah. It's booth jams. Check it out. It's fantastic. It's you also dropped item, something with the item for Cigar Chapel recently? Yeah, man. We dropped the... the th- Thick Lancero, which is a, a slightly engorged Lancero. Phenomenal in that blend, by the way. Farce Maduro. I thought I, I, thought I saw a Robusto. Ah. I thought you did like a, a special cigar for them. Unbanded. Maybe you did. Oh, you forgot about no, it. No, no, man. The, the sodomy geese. Yes. Yeah. The sodomy. What is that? A robusto? It's an engorged robusto. 52, 54? 54. Juicy. Yeah. I, Delicious. I gotta I gotta hit them up. You know, they're hard to deal with because they don't take internet orders. So you have to you have to actually communicate with somebody, which is very rare these days. And they have a website called supersecretcigars.com. You're not up on game. I think Step you might your be game lying up. All right, supersecretcigars.com. Hey. I don't mean to. I don't mean to hijack look it up this, right now. But you know, late great breaking news. I fucking caught a cat in my own fucking backyard. A kitten. Sorry, a kitten. So I went up to take a piss in behind the garage. I literally, where the TV is right behind you guys on the outside, I took a piss into the neighbor's yard through the fence. My wife got a fucking okay. notification on her phone because I walked back there. She's holding me. She's holding this fucking kitten we got. It's probably six weeks old right now in her fucking arms. It it watches me. And I went up to the window and I go to knock on the door. <laughs> Bro, this cat just fucked her up. It just fucked her up. Like it fucked her up fucking hardcore. And it's just what like, oh, fuck. Like that's why you don't hold the kitten. And fucking get all jacked up with it. <laughs> Like, yeah, she just got mad with that fucking cat. But, like, the cat was fucking whipping around in her arms, doing fucking 360 sideways. She didn't drop it at all. Just trying to so, get out. Got good. My, look, at my, beautiful, look at that beautiful my, sky. Sorry. It ain't too bad, right? So, no. my issue is right now with this fucking cat. I'm like, yo, just chill with it. Chill with it. You know what I mean? I, I, I baby this kitten. I'm like, last thing I want to do, I already got to take this fucking thing to the vets next week. Or in two weeks, whatever, whenever it's old enough. You fuck something up on a kitten, like you're gonna have to get it fixed. Like how do you break a fucking kitten's paw? And the, the all these fucking vets, these veterinarians know this. Like, oh, you, you, this guy just brought a bro a kitten's fucking broken leg in here. We could soak him now for fucking two grand. Kitten mitten on it. Keeps a little paw, a little claw wow. safe. I know? don't want to see this dude, this this, this, this this little we call him uh Figaro. Figgy Smalls, mm. we call him. Mm. Dude just gets so revved up and excited to be with us. He gets a little too excited sometimes. It's like, bro, chill how could out. he not? I don't want to see you. I mean, if I came out there, I'd be fucking spastic, man. Like, number oh, one, I, I don't want to see you. Like, I don't want to see you get hurt. Adrenochrome. I don't want to dump thousands into a fucking veterinarian. Vet- vets, vets remind me of the United States. Because they'll just soak you for everything you got. People are like, oh, oh my fucking. You know, ten year old dog just swallowed this. Can you get it out? And they're like, "Yeah, for ten grand, we can." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why is there a fucking price for it? like? That, I'm so worried about this fucking kitten. Like, it's not. It's basically like me, six weeks old, and I'm 36 now. Sorry, 21. Um, and it's dude, the thing's so fucking wild. It's like, dude, just chill. Like, chill the fuck out. Like, you're gonna hurt yourself. Well, I mean, it's a fucking business, man. I mean, it's they're not there to just do you a favor. They're there to help you, you ever but... seen uh you ever seen videos of the pp monster no dude i think i think i think you should have a pp monster segment on your show i think your show oh. is 
It's right. That's what I think my cat is going to be. So my cat has a huge interest in going into the shower. Mm. And I'm like, Wet it's work. so new. It's so new to us. It's a fucking what is it? Like a week and a half old. And I'm showering, and I'm like, this motherfucker is gonna get in between the two shower curtains one day as I'm showering. You know, I'm doing my fucking face wash. I got her. I'm fucking shampooing my hair or conditioning it, whatever. And I'm like, this motherfucker is gonna jump up here and just see my fucking dick wiggling around. I take cold showers too, so it's all everything. Start all batting at it with its claws, man. Yeah. You know. Well, worse than that, dude. My hand, my mm-hmm. fucking hand, be coming at you. I gotta, I gotta show you guys. My hand's fucking cut up right now because this little fucking kitten is just biting the shit out of me. But it doesn't hurt, so you let it. But then two days later, you look and it's like, oh, but then fuck. you're damaged. Not to mention, they got the fucking dirtiest fucking nails in the world. Juice so bars they do is fucking treasure. root through their can't, shit. Uh, you can't be damaged, bro. Uh, the number one, the positive <laughs> note, it's got all the traits of my fucking my wife's cat that passed about a month ago, a month and a bit ago. Number two. It's never pissed or shit or puked on the floor. So I'll fucking take Yet. that. I'll fucking take that. I mean, that's hey, more well, than you, you think you could le- Do you think you could legally ship adrenochrome to juice bar in Canada or does it got to stay uh, in the States? I'd use FedEx. Very dependable and discreet. Both can ship everything. They don't, they don't run dogs on the mail. I don't like dogs being run on my mail. I don't like dogs sniffing yeah. my mail. Uh, packages I receive or send. I don't want them sniffing around on it. You know, uh, I'm allergic. I, I, I ship things of a private nature uh, many times. Um, you know, I, I like black to maintain di- uh, discretion. Black dildo. Uh, Surprise at cigars. And I'm like, fuck, where's my black dildo? So I got to touch on this too. I don't know how the fuck it came up tonight. <laughs> it was me, Herfhead, Mooch, and our boy Carlo. Carlo's appeared on probably two episodes when he just randomly pops into the room. Whether it's a quarter or it's not, nobody really knows. But uh, it fucking came up and Carlo's like, oh, yeah. Like the time I sent her a picture of a fucking double-headed dildo on the road. And he's like, you've heard it before. And I'm like, I have fucking haven't heard this before. And he's like, oh, yeah. Fuck the pic. Send it in the mail, head. man. Far more dramatic. Wait, and I was like, what, mail to somebody. what the fuck? You either mail the sex object or a gas station burrito. <laughs> It's twenty times right. the impact of a picture. I mean, it just you, you send the tin foil and it's busting at the end. And yeah, it's just you, fucking... you send someone a photo of a gas station burrito. What they get it? I mean, mail? dude, if you're really I mean, in search I mean, of a, if you're really in search of a double end dildo, almost anything is a double end dildo. <laughs> it's not. It doesn't have the girth. I've tried. It's kind of like eh. a burrito. A burrito, hundred percent. You got you got to freeze it. Then you wrap For it. For what? Wrap it. Who's to say? Who's to say this wasn't thawing? Who's to say it wasn't thawing? Because I no was smashing. Yeah, I, it just you gotta, gets messy. No, you know what? I gotta ask it, Boofy. Do you have a flashlight? No, man. Currently, no, no. I should like though. not even a homemade one that you tried to make. No. For some reason. For some Send reason, one. for some reason, and interject if I'm wrong, I feel like when you visit shops and you're driving there, you just bust out the flashlight quick and you're like, all right, let's go. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. You know, it just what? release some tension. You've been driving. You drive and you're just like, you know what? This is a, this is a good segment for her fed to chime in on because he's got a lot of tension mounting. You know, he needs, he's to, like, he, yeah. he needs to achieve <laughs> release. He's like, yeah, I got six flashlights and I haven't cleaned them in two weeks. <laughs> he's backed up. You gotta yeah, power he's like, wash him. It's not even fun now. It's like it's, it's like so you're the fucking in. you're a guy in a double double fucking cream pie video and you're just like fuck. I don't feel enough. Boil them. Yeah. What was this show about again? Oh, it's you, so- say, you swear we got a fucking sex fucking toy store fucking sponsor. Mm. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't see that. know. Listen, it's the one who rebar show. We got Matt Booth from Room 101 Cigars. Matt Booth, how you doing tonight? Oh, don't try that shit with me, Herf Dog. Hey, don't so, come in halfway. Th- hey, Matt Booth, please, the way through please tell me about some of your. Uh, hey, so tell me Matt about Booth, some of your new blends coming out. I, I know. I, shut the fuck up. Can you tell me a little bit of your background? I know Bro. you started off with uh, you Bro. know Davidoff and Camacho Group, and you've broken off from there, and you. 
ventured off. Can you tell me about the T? The T was a majestic trilaboration between myself, AJ Fernandez, and Robert Rosewood Rosadella at Caldwell. That sounds like a spit roast. All it was holes fantastic. covered. It was majestic. It was majestic. But this time beautiful. it's passed. It was beautiful. The tea was a really good cigar, actually. Herford, I think you gave me a tea or two. Yeah, I gave you the uh, one of those the weird uh, Corona side, Corona Gorda. I got from yeah. Cupcakes. Yeah, Herford teed me off. Mm -hmm. He teed you he off. Te he teed up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you though, the hey. uh, no bullshit. The uh, the Murder Hornet is mm -hmm. probably like it's. I used to always be a power guy, fucking power up, you know. Now I become a subtle. Yes. It's it's definitely dialed back, and I really enjoy that about it, where I can fully smoke the whole cigar through, and it's not offensive. It's meant to it be cheap. You know, it's or, or boof. Chief it down. Honestly. You ever boof a cigar? No, no. Matt, I've, Matt I've, I've applied cigars. Any cigar I've had fashion. from Room 101 or Boofy, it's basically just like an aphrodisiac. I get that. Once it know, hits my lips, and I'm just like, I just want to fuck. It's one of the, the twelve. The, the twelve kicked my ass a little bit. The twelve had some balls. Twelve was good, bro. Very good. I was good. Boofy, Boofy, I gotta ask it. What's your favorite did you star stop? Did you decide where to place those labels on those bands? Because they're definitely a little lower than every other cigar company. On them. Was that your decision? Why not? Is there is there a standard position? I mean, you notice, so I guess in your mind. Yeah. Are you a missionary guy, Herfed? Herfed's a missionary guy. No, I position thought it was is cool. important. Switched, I thought you switched it up. It was cool. I looked twice. I Boofy. Like, oh. Number yeah, one, cool. number one thing you can't do. You don't want to be a cuck in the band world of cigars. Don't be a fucking cuck to the location or position of the fuck. Yeah. Nobody's ever done yeah. just the tip of the cigar band where it wraps be the top of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody but wants to have their fucking, band. Uh, so fucking symmetrical. Twelve was kick ass. Ten was the Toro, right? Twelve was the Torpedo. Salicosa. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. And then twelve again was a Toro. Came in big with that fifty-four fucking Torpedo. All sold Boofy. out, man. The anniversary Boofy gave goes, the multiple man. orgasm of cigars. He's like the ten. I think you got to freak people 11, out next 12. anniversary. You out, you got to put out like a Lancero or a five by forty-two. Or it's going to be a out. specific size, just called the rebar. It's going to be the eighty-five. <laughs> it doesn't have to be after 85. a beer can. Why has it got to be after a beer can or the infamous Barry? Remember Barry? That meme. One of my well, favorites of all time, dude. Pe people were like. You text people favorite. and you're like, hey, Barry wants your number. Can I give it to him? And they're like, who's Barry? And then you send him a picture. And it's this black guy sitting <laughs> on a bed with white socks and shoes. And he's got a hammer that goes down to his fucking kneecap. One of my favorites of all time. Amazing. You know, there was a period of time where the memes were were, were heavy on Barry. I mean, there were ones where people were building a, a puzzle, you know, on a, on a dining room table. I mean, it was fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I've seen cool. Legos nice done of very People yeah. giving yeah. gifts of like printed blankets with his image on yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, phenomenal. Wow. I, I want a blanket. You know, I don't have a blanket. The, 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 the worst part about this and the craziest thing. So the guy died and that was an old photo from him back in the day. Dude, mm -hmm. if this if this gentleman were alive and I mean, God knows he's got like 30 kids. Dude, Licensed, licensed royalties. These people are taken care of. You know what needs to come back? I mean, and it obviously comes back. I want to say since I've known about Barry, it's probably came back about once a year. But just Barry just needs to be. Dude, you're never pissed when you get this meme and it's just Barry. It doesn't even have to. There's no titles. There's no fucking caps. It's just Barry. It brings joy. And it brings people, joy. People will get it sent to them. They're like, oh, fucking Barry. I would like to consider myself one of his. I, I, I don't want I don't want to say number one fan. Right. Dude, dude. So I'm just I, pissing. I I'm just I'm, I'm a huge. I'm a tremendous fan. This is going to air and I'm just going to pitch this to you right now. You got to do a naked thing with your hair and it's just a fucking one of your cigars over your fucking thighs covering up your junk. We'll call it, it just that, says, that will be the rebar. 
dude, so here's what you should have called your fucking, here's what you should have called your cigar group. Not Shadow Army, Roomies. <laughs> right? Dude, how good is it? Roomies. Or you got the Shadow Army yeah. now, but you need, to ha- you need to have that super fucking tight group. You know, that super tight group, just call the Roomies. Right. Roomies. Mm, that next tier. Yeah, you know, bro, that's that next level. Like, bro, now you're going to get it. You're gonna get double get, twice, double double more photos of the fucking twice you're already getting for fucking an extra ten dollars a month. That's all that it is. You break that you down. Get drop a week early. Yeah, that's it, dude. Roomies, yeah. roomies. I gotta I'm, tell you, man. But good for good for fucking Shadow Army and all those fucking dudes that support you because I think I caught that fucking lighter you just dropped like four days late, and I was like, "Yo, you got any more around?" And nope, done. Uh, I mean that shit was those drops sell out, man. Flat. I mean it's 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 really uh it, it's been a it's been a really fantastic exercise for us, man. And you they know, sell out. I'm I'm uh, grateful uh, for the level of support we have from our guys and and our brothers and sisters of belief. You know the wild thing, dude. It's like watching custody of children, and I'm not going to name the other cigar groups, but there's like three, maybe four other ones. And watching the Shadow Army slash Boofy slash the Roomies get a hold of the, you know what I mean, bro? It's like a fucking custody battle. It's wild. And I feel right now like you're just like, yeah, baby daddy paying me all of it right now. We're going to do a berry tribute item. A very what? A berry. A berry. Oh, berry. bro. Maybe just like a berry. schlong. Bro, a but here's the crazy thing. Here's the crazy thing. Dude. Do it in like a fucking Corona Viva size. Why just the packaging? Be cigars just the you? packaging and marketing is very big. Listen, I, we gotta we're gonna we're gonna edit this out of the video because we always edit everything. Um, yeah, everything. JP, edited. this is not a cigar. JP, this is not a cigar show. Stop talking cigars with Mad Booth. You're pissing them off. I mean, the odd time you catch me, I just, all I want to do is fucking talk cigars, and I'm sorry. It's I'm too much. Control. Stop. My bad. My bad. You guys are crazy, man. My bad. Oh. I gotta I'm go a, soon, you, so you gotta make this shit count. Juice bar, hit me with it. You know what? Do so, it. do it. Am I a cigar guy? Yeah. Is most of my thoughts cigars? No. But you know what? All my ideas are cigar fucking marketing. Cigar marketing. What are cigars? I don't do marketing. I don't do any of the shit that's inside the cigar. I leave that to Herfed. I leave that to people like Boofy. I leave that to people like uh, those two brothers that got into a huge fight and then they started separate fucking companies, but it's all from the same factory. Uh, Principal and what's the other fucking name? Uh, Castagli. Castagli, yeah. About? Or as an Italian Canadian, I call him Castagli or Castaglita, whatever, however the fuck I say. I always say it at a different time to Herfed and he's always like, Castagli. Castagli, <laughs> I'll say it ten different ways. What are you saying? Always, always it, what are you about. saying? It's very good that you're alone in your business. You don't have one man partner. gang. Yeah, I mean, False with a cigar, I enjoy pleasuring myself with a cigar while I smoke it. Hmm. 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 Um, makes sense. You know, I asked this to fucking Jonathan Drew last time I was with him, fucking four or five years ago. You know, when do you enjoy the cigar the most? You're by yourself, or you're just bullshitting with everybody. A little, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of both. I feel like when I watch you smoke a cigar on the show, you're just like, yeah, another one, fuck another one. You know, I mean, you don't care what you're smoking, but you're just smoking, just smoke, right? Nah. Is that Mrs. Room One Hundred One? My sister just got here. Is she single? And her husband and her child. Look at this. There you go. Amazing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Next time. Oh. Whatever. I, I, I shot my shot. I shot my shot. I totally just not. shot my shot. What's her husband's name? If you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. You know. What's your no? You know what? We don't. You don't. Nobody knows your last name. Everybody, what's your sister's name and what's her husband's name? 
Oh, you're talking to me. Yeah. Side note, tell me you got your earbuds in so they didn't hear that. I do. All right. So what's your sister's name and what's her husband's name? Reginald. Reginald? That's, that's your sister's name? Yes. Savannah? Yes. Savannah. And what's her, what's her husband's name? No, it's Savannah and Reginald. So you call him, you call him Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Reggie B. Fucking Reg. Remember Reggie? Mm -hmm. Fucking Reggie made that porno with fucking Kim Kardashian. He made that entire family famous with his dick. Hey, sexy can I? Sexy can I? What an amazing story. That dude's got to just be, I mean, Dude, the opportunities. That's the original missed. coming up. She <laughs> should have a chain made of him. Wear that chain. And it's just Reggie. Mm -hmm. Dude, sexy can I? Sexy can I? I mean, <laughs> it literally is. Like, that's fucking. Dude, Reggie, Ray J fucking did it proper. He did. Fucking Ray J. Ray J. Sexy can I, sexy can I? Like, what more do you need to do? Yo, and the guy also owns a fucking headphone company with fucking, I think, Mike Tyson. They have a headphone company, a wireless headphone company with Mike Tyson well, and fucking great. Ray J. So, Amazing. Matthew, are, are, you, uh, are you cooking tonight? No. You no. Go for some uh, sushi? Maybe. I had a little snack earlier, so I'm I'm not. Uh, did your brother? And I'm not in need. Did your Did your sister and brother in law come over just to watch this beautiful backdrop you have behind you? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. They just came there to stare at fucking Boofy, mm -hmm. looking into this, but with that backdrop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, guys. By the way, I'm doing a big show tonight. Come over. You can see me be on it. You can't hear anything because I got earbuds in, but uh, you just listen. Watch me laugh. Watch me frolic with my eyes. This is the House of Frolic. The House of Frolic. And tequila, apparently. I've talked to you a couple times, and it's always... It's true. Tequila, tequila is your fucking poison. It is, man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay shy from that right now. It's trying to take a little better care. But uh, I get carried away. I get very excited with that. that uh, because of the, the fuzz? Tectonic. Is it the fuzz? It is. Hmm. I've always it noticed is. that with people <clears throat> that whether it's consumers, owners, ambassadors, you know, all the levels of cigars. People love drinking or they always tell you how long they've been sober for. It's, it's either they're, they're on or they're, they're off. off. That's it. There's no in between. No, there's no, uh, there's, there's no. Zero in between like, where it's like, like, oh, I'm just not drinking this week. It's like a cook. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a cuck? He said it. Did you say cuck or cook? He did. You take it how you want to. He said it. See, I could have sworn you said cook, but I thought you said cuck. You know what I mean? I the heard you cook, but I was is, thinking uh, cuck. Critical. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a what big word in the, uh, the show. I just want, see, I think I just want Boofy to say it now because nobody here can hear him what he says when he's out there, if there are people out there. Kind of. <laughs> Can you just say the fucking C blank? Cuck? Yeah, fucking right. He said it. Oh. <laughs> fucking right. Say my name. Say my name. Yeah. Words, words say, it, say it for me. Say it to him. That's it. Hey, so okay. we will literally, no problem. Boofy, we will literally wrap up right now. Maybe, maybe Boofy is like, cuck, and that's, he's just like, yep, no problem. I'll be right in. Yep, no problem. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. All right. Boofy, your definition of a cuck, Herfed's definition of a cuck, my definition of a cuck. Then we're wrapping it up. It's over. You're going to hear it the next episode. We'll get on with it. It's done and over. No, give me your definition of a cuck in the cigar industry. Someone that has previously worked as a trapeze instructor at Club Med. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bro, I know this ain't fucking Nick Molillo. <laughs> Just trying what about to get Yeah, you're right. Is that I good? Understand. I agree. Yeah, he yeah, worked yeah. from the yeah, Thunder yeah, Down yeah, Under. It's... He worked for the Thunder Down Under. Yeah, he That's did. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. 
Yep. All right, Herf, your definition. Uh, scuba diver who never got out of the kiddie pool, never got his license, but he tries every year. Bro, that's Sokka. Does he have the scuba gear? Well, he floats no. or he sinks. I oh, don't think. Sokka is the scuba guy. Um, so Sokka is a snorkeler. I think he, a fucking snorkeler. I think, uh, yeah, I think Hoya hooked him up with, uh, I think it was for his 75th birthday, they hooked him up with the scuba gear. Fucking tight. Dude, how was, pissed uh, are yeah. you, though, if somebody gives you fucking scuba gear? Like, scuba gear is a fucking pretty sick gift. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sick. Like, not relating into anything we're talking about, but, like, would it sick. not be cool to fucking just scuba dive? Yeah, fucking right it is. I'm scared to fucking keep my hand underwater for more than fucking 30 seconds, though. But yeah, that's one of my biggest fears in the entire world. Drowning to death. Fuck that. Uh, My definition of all this is somebody who is constantly just releasing a very mega limited cigar. Cigar That's the uh, cigar industry. No, there's specific companies out there that are just like this one limited but, cigar. But you have to do an out of no, things. no, no. But you have to buy ten of our other cigars that the last year they were super mega limited releases. Like that's super cuck shit. You know what I mean? In my opinion, hmm. all my hmm. opinions. That's why we got that sick disclaimer. We don't give a fuck. All right, let's. Can we get a uh, good night, Irene from uh, Mad Booth? Good night, Irene. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, Irene. Until night. we reach here next week. Does anybody have any final words? You know what? Cheers, everybody. Boof, you, boof dog, you got any final words? Nah. All right, Herfy, you got any final words? Here's the big Rob. Hey, well, you know what? One second. I got to switch up drinks, man. I got a good scotch going for Big Robbie. Big dudes, hey. Big Cheers Rob. to Big Rob. Cheers to Cheers Herfet to for fucking being the friend he is. Cheers to Big Rob, man. And to Barry. Just to everything. Just to life, man. I'm just fucking stoked on being alive. Stoked on everything. Ladies and gentlemen, until the next time, you know what to do. Herfet, hit him with the fucking like, describe, dis- subscribe, describe. We're not calling in a fucking suspect. Hit it. Hit it. Uh, check us out. Check us out on YouTube, the One and Only Rebar Show. Like and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I forgot, I forgot to show the Peter James case. It's fucking beautiful. You know what happened with the